One of my favorite memories has to do with a retreat that I led in Washington, D.C., probably around the year 1999 or 2000. And it was people who were coming there in order to talk about spirituality and politics and their intersection and Gandhi and Martin Luther King and the Department of Peace campaign. There was one woman I had asked people on Friday night to introduce themselves, say where they were from, why they were here, etc. And there was this one woman, and I remember how sweet she was. And she was a pretty woman, a couple of children. She said that she came from San Diego. And she said that she had read the book and had read others of my books and was very interested in spirituality, but that she had been completely disengaged from politics. She said that she'd never been to Washington, D.C. She didn't really know what this was all about, but she was just so earnest and so sweet, you know. Well, I didn't see her again until Tuesday. During the weekend, she had learned a lot about civics and how the citizen lobbying uh, process works and what the Department of Peace bill said and all of those kinds of things. Well, Tuesday, the next time I saw her was on the Hill. She was either, I don't remember if it was a, uh, one of the office buildings at, on Capitol Hill or at the Capitol itself. But what I do remember is that when I went up to her and tried to talk to her, that she was too busy for me because she was so active. She was running to the other side of the Capitol. She said that she was going over to one of the other uh, uh, buildings because the budget committee was meeting or the appropriations committee was meeting or some chief of staff was going to talk to her group or she was going to go over with North, uh, North Dakota and meet with some aide. In other words, she was so involved in the process that she didn't even have time to talk to me. And I was so excited because I thought, man, this is it. This is democracy, and she represents so many people, I think particularly women, who are so disengaged from the process, they don't, they don't realize that their wisdom, their intelligence, their decency, and their conscience, that is the force that our founders looked to and said, that will be the force by which we govern a great nation. That's democracy. And to see that happen, and to imagine in my own heart what this country could be if millions and millions of people who are so in dis disengaged from the process right now became engaged as she was that day, that's not only a sweet memory for me, it makes me, to me it's not just something about the past, it's like a beacon for the future.